were able to keep it, um, um, you know, as it is. Um, you don't have to talk over people. And that's it, guys. That is it. In a nutshell, that is it. And that's how you program your DMR radio. Um, this is That's how you program almost any radio, DMR radio. I don't think there's any other way that you can program a DMR radio. You can also do it on the radio, but I love using software. It's easier. It's, it's simpler to me. And you can, you can do all the bells and whistles using um, um, the program information. I love using program information. I, I'm okay doing it on the, on the fly if I want to do it on the radio itself. But I carry my little laptop. This is a Surface Pro 3. And it allows me to do all of this. I can go outside. I can be in the field and do this easily anywhere I want. And um, still be able to just program it only a few seconds and I'm good to go. So thank you guys for watching. This is KD2, TFJ, um, Christian, guys. If you have any um, questions, any questions at all, I am definitely happy and will answer any questions that I understand that I can help out with when it comes to programming these radios, DMR. Any questions about the Baofeng radio, um, 1701. Um, very good radio. Um, very, very good radio. Very loud speaker. Very reliable. I love it. It, it works. I'm telling you, for $100 on Amazon or wherever they sell these things, very, very good radio to start out with in DMR. You know, there are more expensive ones that have a little bit more bells and whistles, but if you want to start out in DMR, this is a very, very good radio to start off with. No issues over the air, no complaints. Okay, guys? Um, once again, KB, um, KD2 um, TFJ. And um, like, um, if you can give me a like so I can get some more support out there in the ham community. And subscribe. Have a nice day, guys.